a fellow named Mark Landis, former Shreveport radio guy, now living in Madrid, Spain. Hey, Mr. Mark, welcome to Keel. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing fine. We're doing fine. Just hunkered down and playing a lot of video games and watching a lot of Netflix. Okay. Uh, everybody in Shreveport, hell, everybody across America is sort of freaking out this morning because of the rules, not really rules, the recommendations put in place by not only the mayor, but the governor and the president of the United States yesterday. But you've got to be reading the news. You've got to be looking on your phone or wherever and being in Spain. And you've got to be thinking, y'all, y'all bunch of wieners. You ought to come live here, right? Well, actually, what we're thinking is that what everybody is complaining about in the U.S. is they need to realize that this should have been done a week ago or two weeks ago. Uh -oh. Because what you're seeing is you're basically 10 to 15 days behind Europe. And what happened here, when we went into the weekend, we were at 4,000 cases going into the weekend. On Saturday, they instituted a national lockdown. No one could go out. Every restaurant, bar, everything was closed. And they locked the city of Madrid down, which is six and a half million people. Okay, There's explain, more restaurants and bars here than Manhattan. Define but for everybody. That, define for everybody what is meant in Spain by national lockdown. Well, lockdown means that they they want everyone to stay at home. That the only stores that are allowed to be open are grocery stores, pharmacies, uh, bakeries, food fruit stands, things like that. If people can stay at home and not work or work from home, they prefer that. If not, you can still go to work. But you're not allowed to be on the streets just walking around doing nothing. You can walk your puppy, but they don't want people out walking around. Because like I said, when we went to the weekend, we had 4,000, about 4,500 cases. Now, this morning, we have 11,000 cases, and we have almost 500 deaths. Are they really so enforcing in Madrid, it? Are, are they out? Are they out enforcing it? I mean, tell them picking people up or sending them back home. Well, no, they absolutely are enforcing it. They have commercials running all over TV. They arrested some people yesterday just wandering around. The police will stop you if you're just wandering around and ask you what you're doing. They want you to be at home, not spreading the virus. So uh, they have really, really good medical facilities here. But they need people to stay off the street so they, they will continue not to spread it around the rest of the people. Is is there a heightened military and or police presence on the streets? And and if, if like, I go running three days a week, is my jogging career history if I'm living in Spain? It is. For right now, it is. For 15 days, it absolutely is. There is no military on the street, but it, they have police. They have a lot of them. And the police here are different from the United States. So the police, in all practicality, a lot of police are walking around with automatic weapons because it's Europe, and that's the way they do it. Guns aren't allowed in here for the average citizen, so police have automatic weapons. But there is no military on the streets. But they're not mean. They're not overtly uh, militaristic about it. They're very nice here in Spain, but they also don't want you just wandering around. They did arrest somebody yesterday because they just – were wandering around doing nothing and uh, with no purpose, and they ended up getting a going to jail or getting a ticket or something like that. They're they're telling us here that they're doing the they're taking these measures because our health care system is going to be overloaded if we don't stem the the rise of the numbers. You said you've got a great health care system there, but was it the same kind of reason that that you were given of why they were taking such drastic measures? Well, there are two reasons. One, yes, it does overload the health care system. Uh, they are overloaded here, just like they are in Italy. Uh, but, uh, you know, they, the scientists have said that the best way to stop this in its tracks is to stop the spread. And if everybody can sit at home and not go out for 15 days, uh, thereabouts, then it will slow the progressiveness of the, of the virus and it will be able to be more manageable. And so that's what they're, they knew, again, the, the thing that they knew was that we only had 4,500 cases going into the weekend. Now we're at 11,000. They had talked about maybe we'll get to 10,000. We're eclipsing that every day, thousands more cases. And they test. They have the ability to test people here. But the problem is they waited too long, and they allowed the International Women's March to go on. They allowed the Real Madrid soccer game to go on in a bullfight the week before they did this. That brought thousands of people together for no reason whatsoever. And 
that right there, the incubation period of that, causes the problems we're having now. Mr. Mark, how far into the 14-day into the 14-day uh, lockdown are you right now? We're about, I think we're on day four, three or four, mm. some of that effect. And what? what kind of effect has it had already? on the economy and how did the media handle that in in other words the, the big thing here in the states right now is what's this going to do to people with businesses uh, restaurants bars or small businesses is there that same sort of sort of uh, overwhelming concern there that there is here well there as far as restaurants and bars go madrid has more than manhattan so there's six and a half million people here there's a ton of restaurants and bars if you walk in the center in the city Every five steps, you run into a restaurant and bar. And unlike the U.S., it's an all-day thing here. People start drinking at 11 o'clock in the morning, they go all day. So it's a very big part of this culture. But thankfully, there's a social safety net here that they enacted some emergency funds. So the government is going to pay. All, you know, all the employees will get paid. Uh, they won't lose any money. They'll, the government also canceled all the mortgages. They canceled all the, uh, the bills as far as... Uh, taxes that you would owe the government stepped in and did all that to stop that and they're also going to help fund a lot of these businesses but it's gonna people are gonna take a hit i mean it, it is what it is you and your wife oh, oh, you, you guys now. you guys own your own business and and it's gotta it's gotta be hitting you guys kind of hard huh well we we own international cosmetic companies based in the united states so okay. we we're like our facilities are in new york and la but we're sold all over the world. We're in about 20,000 stores in 95 countries. We're watching, as I was literally just before you called, on the phone with my people in New York, and we're really concerned that they're about to shut us down there because we're, we're sold in Sally Beauty stores all over America, and we're really concerned if they're going to start shutting commerce down in the U.S. because we just got cancellations in the U.K. yesterday as they're shutting down stores in the U.K. So it, it's going to get worse before it gets better but we're all you know praying that it, it stays and maintains and everybody stays safe and if we have to take a little bit of hit now that's better than taking a gigantic hit later i know it so may be it, it may it be cautious it may be too early to tell being only four days or so in but a are people optimistic b does it seem to be does it seem to be working or or can you tell yet well, we can't really tell. All we can do is kind of watch the news. I can tell you that the people here of Spain are extremely optimistic, and they're very resilient. Every night at 8 o'clock, we can hear on our balcony, they all get together. And the other night, it was, it was, I, I actually posted this on my Facebook, it was amazing, where people started clapping in the entire city at 8 o'clock. They started clapping for the first responders and the medical people to let them know how much they care and, and appreciate what they're doing for the citizens. And so every night you'll see them doing something. And the, the, we see videos of people in Barcelona singing opera on the balcony and people outside raising a glass of wine to each other and cheering each other. Everybody's very optimistic. They're very anxious because again, these people go out seven days a week. It's not like the weekend party. It's every day, all day. That's the lifestyle. So they're a little anxious, but they're also uh, resilient and uh, everybody's pretty hopeful.